Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you the vertical effect or some people may call it the dolly zoom. The only difference between this and the dolly zoom is that this effect is created in post, meaning I'm editing it while the dolly zoom is actually a technique that you do while you're filming. So basically what you do is while you're moving a camera on a slider forward and backwards, you're also changing the zoom length on the camera that's on the slider. So that's the difference. This is in post while the dolly zoom is an in-camera technique. So yeah, that's the difference. And it's actually really easy to accomplish this. It'll take you two keyframes. The only thing I advise is that you have stable footage and you have movement either going forward or backwards. So here, as you can see, I'm editing this camping vlog thing I have and I have a clip of me just going back and forward so you can see right here I'm just going back and forward this clip is very short so the effect won't be as visible but I'll show you guys how it would look like if it was slower and there was more footage to work with uh, so it's very simple here all you want to do is set the scale higher than 100 so it's gonna start off zoomed in the higher the scale is the stronger the effect is so if you want to set it as 300 you can do that but it's probably gonna be very blurry or the quality will be very bad at first so that's up to you I'm gonna set it as 200 to show you guys how the effect would look like but I recommend uh, using 150 as a default and then you want to go to where you want the animation to end so the effect to end and set it back to 100. So I recommend uh, putting the keyframes pretty close and making the effect very subtle. So you can see right here, it kind of looks like the background is moving back and stretching, which is what the effect usually you know, is supposed to look like. Let's just set it higher right here. So let's maybe set it as 300 this time. Delete this keyframe and just move it right here. Let's see how this would look like. So you can see the effect is stronger here. So you can see right there. I'm going to show you how it would look like if it was slower and I had more footage to work with and how it would look like if it was more subtle. You probably wouldn't even be able to like notice the difference right here, like how it looked like. So this is after I color corrected and everything. So let's just press play. It's right here. It's very subtle. There's not really a big flashy thing, you know, it's just like very subtle. You can see it's very smooth as well. This is after I stabilized it using warp stabilizer and slowed it down. I also did the same effect with this leaf, which is really short. You can see here. And the reason I recommend you moving it back and forward is because if you don't move it back and forward and you move it like side to side like this one, it doesn't look as good. You can see like it doesn't look as good as this one. So yeah, that's it. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Steven Van underscore. It's in the description. Yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.